So much information is thrown at you in a jiu-jitsu class. There is no way that you can take it all in and remember it. You gotta be taking notes. I'm Tammy and I'm Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Brown Belt. I've been training for around 10 years and I've been taking notes pretty badly for around nine years. But in the last year, I have really tried to step up my game and learn how to take better notes. So what is the point of taking notes? You want to get better at jujitsu? Just train jujitsu, right? Of course you need to train jujitsu. I'm not suggesting that taking notes is replacing any form of physical training. Okay, so here's my top five tips for note taking in Brazilian jujitsu. Number five. You must revisit and reread your notes. There's no point in taking notes if you never look back on them. Number four, don't try to note your techniques. It is pointless trying to record techniques. When I say record techniques, I mean write them down. It won't make any sense to you later, especially if you're a white belt, you're not going to know all the terminology and you're just going to be trying to describe body parts and positions and if you go back and read that again later on it won't make any sense to you I promise. If you want to remember a technique that you've been taught video it. Video your coach doing it, video your teammates doing it, get someone to video you doing it. Whatever you do make sure that that video gets labelled and filed. Number three Write notes or digital notes about everything else, about small details, about big overriding concepts and principles, any metaphors and analogies your coach uses, anything that is other than techniques. Maybe try drawing up some decision trees and mind maps and flowcharts and that kind of stuff. Number two. Don't forget about logging your journey. Record your seminars, where they are, who they were with, what you learned. Record all your camps. Record your visits to other gyms, your open mats. Record your competitions if you compete. Make sure that you're recording not just where they are, how much they cost, what divisions you entered, but who were your opponents and what was the result? What did you learn? Tip number one is to digitize your notes. Even if you use a pen and paper, which I still do, it's important that you make those notes digital. Then they can be easily retrievable and cross-referenced by searching for keywords. We all want to get better at jujitsu, and if you just keep turning up to class, you will get better. But you will get better quicker if you introduce lots of other ways to learn other than turning up to class. Watching high level matches, watching tutorials, doing extra solo practice and partner practice away from the gym, reading books, listening to podcasts and taking notes. All this stuff will speed up your progress and it will steepen your learning curve. One bonus tip, something is better than nothing. Do not let perfect be the enemy of good. If you'd like to see how I transformed our gym's syllabus into a worksheet and then logbook, then watch this video here. And if you want to test out some of your jiu-jitsu knowledge with a little fun quiz, then have a look at this short here. Okay, that's it from me. See you in the next video.